She is the current Miss Pennsylvania. She's also a member of our WTAE family, but reaching this point has been anything but easy. That's right. Elena LaQuatra lost her hearing in both ears when she was very young. Since then, she's relied on technology to help her in her day to day life. But that technology is now outdated and only on for tonight. Our David Kaplan shows us the new device mm. that's helping Elena hear the world in a whole new way. Elena LaQuatra. Elena the Quatra is a Mount Lebanon native who's seen many successes in her life thus far. In December, she was crowned Miss Pennsylvania. Last fall, she started at the For the 412 Digital Project after studying broadcast journalism at Point Park University. She's seen these successes despite being hard of hearing. When she was young, she contracted bacterial meningitis, which can impact the inner ear. I did lose all of my hearing in both ears. With the help of what's called a cochlear implant, LaQuatra has been able to hear, but only out of her left ear. The implant is attached to her head. A node goes straight through her ear and stimulates her inner ear so she can hear and process the sounds around her. Audiologist Deborah Johnson says the implant helps LaQuatra by coding the auditory information from the from the outside world. But LaQuatra has had her particular implant for her whole life, and the technology she has is out of date. The hardest thing for me is just hearing in a very noisy environment. So I, I really rely on my lip reading skills. But now at the DePaul School for Hearing and Speech, where she went for three years that teaches children with hearing problems how to cope in their world, LaCroix's world will change. It's called the Nucleus 6 or N6 for short, and it will be LaCroix's newest speech processor for her cochlear implant. It's newer technology that not many people have. I've been hearing about this Nucleus 6 processor for a very long time and all of the cool features that it comes with. Among those features, the ability for the implant to drown out excessive noise in a more advanced way and perhaps most significantly, Bluetooth technology. With this, all of her gizmos and gadgets can literally sink right into her and only her ear. So for her uh, implant type that she has, she was implanted uh, when she was four, uh, and so the Bluetooth is just recently available. With some quick calibrating and a switch to the new device, Elena's hearing improved. It sounds different from this one. For LaQuatra, everyday things, phone calls, listening to music, and watching TV are always accompanied by ambient noise. Nobody else can hear it. That's the beauty of it. Wait, really at all? Really? Now with the click of a few buttons on the implant and her phone, and by pushing play on one of her favorite childhood songs, she is able to hear it in a way she hasn't before. That's so crazy. <laughs> so you can't hear this at all? Nobody here is hearing it. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's that is so crazy. <laughs> yeah. After testing the music, a call to her mom, who she talks to through this microphone clipped on her collar. Yeah, so I'm calling you via Bluetooth from the N6. Just like your voice is coming through my head. Elena LaQuatra has seen successes her whole life. Exciting for her that from now on, she can hear them just a little better. In Shadyside, David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.